Okay, welcome to the ACCA study planner for FM. So this is here to help plan your FM studies. The key to this paper is question practice. So we recommend you practice all the uh, questions in the question bank, ideally under time conditions. Initially without looking at the answer, and then when you mark your attempt, then you can see how you did. There's also um, the idea of using the ACCA pra practice platform when you're told to do so, which will enable you to get familiar with the ACCA software. Okay, Make sure you attempt your tuition course exam under time conditions and submit that to us for marking. We found that there's a, a large correlation between students who submit their exam and those who pass their exam. And when you get to revision, your revision time is best spent on question practice. In terms of materials, you should have the course notes in the question bank. Some of the questions you'll find have got tutor debriefs that you can listen to online. In addition, you've also got test your learning checkpoints online and they give you the opportunity to see how well you've understood a particular uh, chapter. The ACCA have also published a number of technical articles relating to financial management and they can be found online. We recommend you take a look at those alongside your course notes. And also we've noticed, or and you'll, you'll probably see yourself, that maths skills are um, essential for this uh, paper, especially the ability to rearrange equations understand probabilities and discount future cash flows. So the ACCA have provided a number of self-check quizzes that you can use to see how you're doing with regards to your math skills and that can be found here as well. Now the study planner gives you a guide as to how long you should spend on each topic. Now this is a guide, everyone works at a different pace so uh, make sure you adjust it to make sure that you've understood a chapter or area. All the questions can be found in our question bank and our study plan requires a minimum of 62 hours of work. Now, in terms of practical experience requirements, performance objectives, the ACCA requires students to have 36 months practical experience to become members. They've set out 20 performance objectives in nine areas. Okay, You're required to achieve nine performance objectives, all five essentials and any four technicals. And ACCA have provided guidance as to which objectives are strongly linked to which exam. Okay, Now you can find further guidance online here and further guidance to support your uh, studies can be found directly from the ACCA here as well. So clearly there's a lot that you can use to support your studies that's given online. Okay, let's take a look at um, the course materials. Now bear in mind that there's a formula sheet it can be found at the back of your notes so you can um, use that to familiarise yourself um, in preparation for the real exam where those same formulae will be provided. Okay, So you can see, first of all, chapter 1 and chapter 2 are both quite short chapters, so around about three, three and a half hours each. And there, should, there will be a gentle introduction to what's coming up. Chapter 3 around working capital management is slightly larger, certainly an important chapter. Not particularly difficult, but do go through it slowly and make sure you've understood everything. We give you the list of questions that we recommend you attempt. Then there's investment appraisal. Okay, There's investment appraisal. The idea of the time value of money, discounting and net present value are all key. It's another key area. Recommended questions down here. Then you've got business finance. Business finance, so you're looking at the cost of equity, the cost of capital. Some niche areas such as a theoretical X rights price when you're doing a rights issue. It builds on some of the concepts that you've covered in chapter four. 
recommend around about 14 hours and one hour um, suggested with regards to reading the relevant articles on the ACCA website. We then come to business valuations. Okay, so a slightly smaller chapter than chapter five. So how do you value a business? And then move on to the final chapter, which is risk management, looking at hedging around foreign currency and interest rates. Now, before you attempt your course exam, make sure you've logged into the ACCA practice platform and got used to the software there. And make sure you then go ahead and actually practice the or take the exam. Our markers will give you feedback on your script and that will suggest ways in which you can improve. Make sure you do the exam under time conditions. It may seem challenging at the time, but it will enhance your knowledge and your ability to pass the actual exam as well. We then move on to the revision period, which we suggest you commence approximately three weeks before your exam. We suggest working through all the section A's and B's for a second time and then taking on the remainder of the section C questions. Again, look at them first without the answer and then you can review. Make sure you then sit the first intuition mock exam. And again, bear in mind, question practice is an absolute key to passing. If you'd like to attend an in-center online revision or question day course, please get in touch and make sure you get plenty of rest in your final week before the exam. Avoid late nights so you remain fit, fit and well. It's a great paper and good luck with your studies.